Speak All right, then. Great. So me and Tim are... There's two uh, versions uh, of you. Re- there's, well, technically in mine, there's three. <sighs> uh, me and Tim are reviewing my hare and hound race from a couple of nights ago. This went out on the stream live, and Tim joined me via VMix. Tim! Hello. This is the first time you've seen this race. Uh, it and I look is. I forward to your, your opinion on it, because, ah, man, it was, a, it, was a, it was a boring race. Yeah, well... It depends I mean, what you're in. It, as a, as it a depends what you're in it for, really. Um, there's often a lot more chat in the beginning of these races while you're sitting in the pen because there's a realization that all of you as bees are, if you have any hope of catching the seas, which I've just seen are like three and a half minutes up. Mm-hmm. You're gonna have to work together um, because not only that is you've got the whole load of A's chasing down behind you. So it looks like you've started in a sensible manner. I can see Mr. A Barry is there always he he looks for me and um he, he, i'm sure he's streams does he nicely. stalk your streams <laughs> i think he does so for anybody that doesn't know what a hare and hound race is do you want to explain it yeah i can try to um essentially um those that are in the d c b categories uh go off uh before the a category and the most important thing about the race is it's the first cross the line wins so I know certainly hare and hounds, things I've done, I'll be in the AE race and your start time is sort of 12 minutes past the hour because you've got 40k to do, but you're doing it. Um, they, they have done the calculation that you will um, take 12 minutes less than um, a D rider. Yeah. But the problem is it, it is slightly dependent with the Zwift blob, um, how many people you get in them. It's certainly a very good workout, though. So from from an A-rider's perspective, um, usually you're at the front of the race, and therefore there's not a lot of work to be done because you can't, let's be honest, you can't really go out and attack anything. No. You'll have to make efforts up hills. Um, but other than that, there's, there's not a lot you have to do. So um, there's a lot of green, grey, blue in your graph. What is your FTP set to? Because your graph is a weird colour. <laughs> never, never you mind. I've been doing some testing, so oh. uh, my, my FTP might be up for around 800. Oh, oh. oh. Um, no, really so it's a, it's a much more solid effort and uh, arguably a bit more of a, ti- a team time trial for, for the A's um, because mm-hmm. to just gently be in contention, you've got to do a lot of work. And what I always try and say in the first sort of like 10 minutes, first lap is you're never going to, you're never going to bring them in at, in that point. Um, so you're never going to win it yeah. then. So there's no point going crazy. But there is a huge opportunity to lose it all uh, by not working hard enough and people sitting on the back. Yeah. So there's, al- it, there's also it, the dynamic of uh, of power ups here because everyone obviously hoards their power up, which is the worst thing you can do in this sort of situation. Um, it's a, talking from an A group rider, that is right. Well, yeah. There's absolutely no reason why you should like. There should be. Uh, well, I often try and get an agreement within said group that as soon as you get one, you, you use it, but not at the same time as someone else uh, oh, wow, for the first nice. yeah. two or three laps because you're not. No one is going to win in your group as a A or a B rider unless you catch the other two. <laughs> so yeah. if everyone just wants to hoard an arrow and not use it, you're probably not going to catch that massive blob of of C's and D's. Good point. That is a good point. So what I found with this race is right the the start was mellow it was like everyone just ride out at a gentle pace and just start building that pace and that's the first time i've ever, ever experienced it and there was no real chat amongst the the riders as to what we should do there was there was a few people saying let's hold it steady let's not drive off the front because a few times a couple of guys had, had tried to ping off the front and it just it just doesn't work when you when you do that does it on these races no there's there's absolutely no benefit to it um because well I suppose if you were being ultra critical, if, if they thought you were trying to get away, then they might increase the pace and therefore the whole blob pace would increase. But it's not really it. It's kind of like you need to ride as a team, which is an interesting dynamic yeah. comes with because you can't talk to each other. Um, yeah. You need to ride it for a team for about 90 percent of it. And then when it gets to a certain place, just go. Yeah. Cheers. Thanks. The most, whenever I do a hare and hounds, and I do do them sometimes because it is a, it's a proper workout. It's not like race tactics where I'll, I will do as little as possible <laughs> um, <laughs> and then try and win a sprint. Um, 
but there is a really good uh, tool on Zwift Power, and I don't know if you had it open at the time, which has like, no. um, and I don't know if it does it for all of the races, but certainly for Hare and Hounds, they have like an ETA thing. Oh, where right. It predicts how long you'll, what time you'll finish in. Um, oh, nice. Which is something that I always try and type into into the rides to let people know in the group to try and motivate yeah. them, I suppose. Um, and yeah, the ETA is often, the C group is often often the biggest. So that's where, um, if the A's and B's don't work properly, that's where the, the, the winner is going to come from. Um, mm -hmm. But, sorry, are you undressing yourself here? Oh, okay, just a yeah, little, a little bit. down. I'm just, yeah, just a little yeah. bit. Down. Um, it's starting to get a little bit hot. Um, but you uh, <laughs> using use I don't know how they do it. I don't, yeah, I don't know how I don't know how Zwift Power do it, but they it's a, another good um, little piece of software that they've developed that tells you whether you'll have any chance of bringing anyone back. Oh, that's cool! I, I did not realize that. I um, I remember the first time I did one of these, and I loved it. But this was this was at a time when pens didn't exist on, on Swift Racing <laughs> when you just roll up to the start line. Uh, it uh, was carnage, but there was something quite fun about it, knowing that you're getting chased by a fast group and hopefully by the time that the fast group catch you, they'll have burned quite a few matches. So you're all there or thereabouts equal. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely, I the it definitely gives, a, ages on this race. gives a little bit of um, inspiration to the lower categories to try and stay away, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, definitely. And get that win over someone else. Um, how often do they stay away uh, i've never i've never won a hare and hounds race so have you have you caught them i've like I, all the groups or not i think i've maybe caught the the front so sometimes right. the c's will go past the d's and the b's will go past the c's and the d's but for the a's yeah. to get to the front of the group i think i've done it once oh right so, so is it that, is a completely is different there's, uh, there's it's just numbers fly again. Flyers or right? It's, well, it's numbers, isn't it? I mean, the unfortunate thing is, if you get some flyers in the C's and D's, and and you can't blame them for it, um, they're mm -hmm. unaware. It's one of their first races. Then they will naturally pull the group away. So you might have an A rider who's down as a C, who some of the B's yeah. and C's and D's can hold on to. So it just ruins the whole race for everybody. <clears throat> but I think yeah. that the concept is is very sound and. Um, the chop and stuff like that have really developed it a bit further and i think there is a lot more that can be done around it um with actual in-game time differences and things like that i can see them they're sprinting off the front and i'm just like why bother yeah great oh hello so um yeah a lot of people use a lot of arrows there i, I kind of know what happened in this race but i've no moment, idea um i'm 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 bored i'm so that, that right there was the first moment that we got to see the A's because we went past them as they went the other way. And, right. Um, I, I guesstimated it was a 10-second gap. <laughs> um, wait, no, it wasn't 10 seconds. No, I measured a, a point from a point where they crossed to the end of the red road, I counted 10 seconds. So then the next time around, I could then count again to see right. um, if they'd actually close the gap up. And, um, well, we'll get to that. When we get to that point, I'll, I'll reveal... Exactly how much time they've taken out of us. I know. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Right, we've just caught a load of C group riders there. Yeah. Um, the good thing about this, I guess, is the fact that everybody wears one particular uniform, so you know who you're catching and, and who's around you. Yeah, and, and also when... A load when, of when, bike kits going backwards. When they're caught, they might also jump onto this group to, to make it bigger. Yeah. Which but then you is... know Andrew Barry's still in there, look. Your nemesis, Always isn't he? in there. Always stalking me. Although... So I, I would guess from the I first 13 it. kilometers that this is a Greater London flat ride. <laughs> of course it is. It was my no, choice of track. No, no so, hill involved. Uh... <laughs> That's the other thing. Hare and Hounds is often based on a flat course um, because if you, the differential of a hill is just, just huge. Um, Would that make it more interesting or less interesting, do you think? I think you'd have to make the time gaps wider. Right. If you think about a group of people working together up Box Hill with mm -hmm. a with a strength against a group of people with D strength, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you're talking like four or five minutes just on that couple of kilometers. Mm -hmm. Although the Ds might be heavier, which is why their watts per kilo are lower, and therefore they might go downhill faster. 
Mm. Oh, interesting. There's a test thought. for you, Chris. I will. Uh, I'll test a D group. A D. A fat D group. Is it just me, or does it look really slow now? Uh, yeah, I think that's the effect of of because it of was me far. being on a bike, isn't it? <laughs> that's what I look like on a bike all I, the not, time. I'm slow. <laughs> Again, it's splitting up here a bit. I like look. the kit. Ah, uh, it's what is it? Um, Pearson CC. I don't know. Yeah, yeah I think so. strong colours. Yeah, Not sure about out. the pink Tron bike, but... Shut up. That's my trademark. Right. Okay. Do you think, no, it, um, it, do you think this... Go on. Got it? No? It's, 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 it's it. getting a bit strung out, but you're still in a draft, so I think the, the blob is still moving at a right pace, and you're about to go downhill. You can't see because your hype button is in the way, but... Hype! You, go, you, you, go, you do go downhill <laughs> under this tunnel, don't you? It's just whether you can yeah, maintain yeah. some speed over the top. But yes. you need, like, you, it, oh, there's a big group of people in front of you that have just emerged out of the mist. Yeah, seas. You there. didn't catch seas the seas like this that. quickly, did you? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't think it was all of them, but it was it was one of the biggest groups of the seas. Wow, this B group was pretty. Um, it's pretty on it, I think. Yeah, but you looked but chilled out. I never felt like I was really. Yeah, I, don't, I was around one sixty heart rate. You which sound for me is, is good. No, but what in this position? What are you supposed to do? Um, I would do an effort on the front if you're feeling good. Right, that's you, Tim. Yeah. What would I do? Well, you're you're a lazy sprinter, so you just sit on the back and hope that and hope that exactly. you get dragged for the potential to win. Yeah. yeah. Um, R. Kelly, uh, not the not the famous rapper. I raced against him on this course a few weeks ago. Um, oh, the Irishman. He was in there. Yeah, and he um, he blasted it up here in that race so i had um, i had my eye on him if we caught that that's what the, he was the unfortunate do. thing about us doing a review of this is that it looks like you never put your nose in the wind so we're never gonna see oh oh hello oh so we, we might see a time gap here so it's 19 seconds up to the next group who are yeah. i'll make sure of season these so that like first 20 minutes see i don't see this part of the race I just look at Zwift Power and, and see the the moving numbers around with the B's, C's and D's. And you just but do I, your calculations. Well, I never know how quickly the, the C's catch the D's or the B's catch the C's or oh, right. the yeah, B's yeah, to the I D's. See. I'm just hoping that I'm going to catch someone at some point with, with the A group. Yeah, yeah, well, it was pretty quick. Um, like but so this is start... what it's not what an A group rider wants, this. They are super fun well, though. They do hurt a lot, but you do feel like you've had a proper workout. Yeah, I guess you would with the A group, but I, in terms of racing for me, it wasn't one of the hardest races I've ever done. It got a bit sticky towards the end, but it wasn't. I think it's like, don't give it away. I, I, I don't. I think that's a mentality thing rather than a category thing, though, isn't it? Like, I want to go and try and get to the front as quickly as possible, whereas you're like, nah, if a sprint comes up, I'll do it. Well, yeah, I guess so, yeah. And that, yeah, I guess that was the thing. And because we'd sat at all, you know, that, that kind of pace where you're trying, but you're not really pushing that hard. Yeah, you don't look And your like... legs kind of, you kind of sit into it. But then when you start pedaling and get on the gas, it feels, you feel very lethargic. That's how I kept feeling when it kept increasing the pace. I didn't normally when you go with a Zwift race and you go up bang from the gun, anything after that is not as hard an effort until you mm. get to the sprint again. Or at least it's not perceived as a hard effort. Here we go. Look at that. I'm at the front. Two minutes. So we've got two minutes there to go. That's so still two... quite a big gap, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Again, though, as I said, as I said earlier, it's all about the last lap. Like yeah. all the, a, the, the D's and the C's and the B's are just, Except for you, who just, I don't know what oh. you're doing, but um, everyone else is going to do everything they can to try and stay away. And the fatigue is going to start setting in right on the last lap. Um, mm -hmm. And so from that, from that point of view, if, you've, if a D or a C rider has miscalculated it, you're going to go very, you're going to absolutely hit a wall with 8K to go, get cramp. Mm -hmm. um, and then that's when it's, it's bye-bye. Very active chat as well. Always active in my uh, mm. in my streams. Don't yeah. forget, if you're not already, hit that subscribe button. So you've got to hope that the A group is as big of a blob compared to 
the groups in front, right? Because that's well, what yeah, well, I just the amount of people that are in there. I don't know the the A riders just don't. They, uh, some people do it, but not to the same extent that the C's and D's. And maybe it's because the C's and D's have the ability or feel more capable of coming across the line first, which is always nice. But yeah. And therefore, the A's don't really, they're like, oh, I'm not going to get to the front if I, and I don't want to do, I'd rather be at the front of the start. Rather, Whoa. Here we go. Yeah. Always, this, always at the same place. Um, so, boom, there. I um, just, just, I'm going to interject there. That was the moment that I counted and we, they closed up, the A group had closed up 10 seconds on that moment there. Oh, did you just have the C plane? plane? I'm not the C plane, you know it. You what? Yeah. What level's that? Plane. Did you not see? Level 52. That's cool. Hey, completed it, mate. That's Clearly. Where you finished it. Clearly. Yeah. So that was the most entertaining thing I think that happened all this stream, actually. You Here unlocked the plane. Here we went a little bit. Look, did you see him? Did oh, you see him go? Oh, oh, oh. Ke Kelly went. Kelly went. I got well annoyed. I called him a few <laughs> names and he came in the chat and, um, <laughs> and said, I'm sure you're a really nice guy, Chris, but don't call me names. Yeah. So and then here we, again, yeah, we've down just this done, red bit. We've, we've just done the whole yeah, lap the there. Lap. We're not messing around now, seconds. are we? No. Um, I know it's that they close up another. I think there was thirty seconds here. So this was the last lap. See, yeah, this here is a. Th gap. This is an A rider's nightmare. Look at the size what, of that blob. This speed. Well, oh, right, that yeah. for a start. For the size of the blob, <laughs> when the bees catch the C's, a lot of yeah, C's would be able course, to hold yeah, on. Yeah. Oh, take it back now, y'all. Um, <laughs> One half this time. <laughs> Slide to the... uh, right, no, what was I saying? I can't remember. Oh yeah, that that was it. Like I don't I'm not sure a lot of A's like this because they they're not at the front at the start. And I can see yeah, I completely that, yeah. understand why. And but I, I can recommend any one, anyone who wants to get fit, get a few friends and go in a hare and hounds race and just absolutely mm -hmm. thrash yourself. Get on Discord and actually talk to each other. They hey look, look at the front there, see it? Matt Rowe, Rowan King. Oh, I rode with him the other day. Is he a is he sea rider? Yes. yes. What's all that about? I, I I presumed he was maybe helping, assisting as a coach to a rider in this race. I don't know. That's nice but, of you to assume. Well, yeah, you know, he's a he's a good he's a good rider. Yeah. From from the Rowe family, he's got to be a good rider. So absolutely. So uh, there you go. I've just overtaken him. <laughs> Casual. Th th 3.3 to go. Well, I don't know what happen. happens in this race. So. What this... do you think is going to happen? I'd like to see a W from you, but... I'd, I'd like to take on the big W as well. Yeah. You've got a draft power up, though. Questionable. Ah, but will I use that in between now? And, and, and do I get an arrow anywhere else? Stay tuned. Who knows? If you want it, you need to start sacrificing for the group, says Matt M. Bro Broski. Yeah, completely agree. That is that is the difference between a Zwift race and any other hair, hair and hounds race or a chop race mm -hmm. or a chase race. What's a, what's, a, what's a chop race? So a chop was something that they, it was like, it was a hair and hounds that they were really, Jesper used to commentate on them. And with the, I think it was, it was last summer, it was like Australian, Australian winter and the Aussies really adopted it. Um, and really went and got behind it. I can't remember the name of the man. He's going to go. He's going to go, look. Oh, Kelly again. Yeah, Kelly's going to go. That's naughty. Get ready for it. The Rangers are already gone. Um, and... I knew that, so I was expecting it. And they worked there he out. Goes. Look, look. Oh, naughty. So you must... Oh, yeah, well, I don't disagree with that attack there because they're 15 seconds up the road and a D rider's not going to go uphill really fast. So you I don't might disagree as well... with it. I just didn't appreciate it. <laughs> I would just kick orange <laughs> numbers and go it. for it. Um, yeah. No, the Aussies really adopted it last winter, their last winter, and it got really good, really, really good. And 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 A riders like properly turned up. The hitters turned up, and it just it turned into a fascinating race. Where could a a big B rider still out sprint an A rider when it came down to it? Because you rarely you rarely got down to those. Look at you I'm scything nervous. through the bit through the D's. Yeah, man. There goes a there, there goes the Canadian. Boom. So um, at this point, you kind of Andrew Barry's there. Look, 
You don't really know who's in front anymore. You don't know what the score is. <laughs> You've got Sergeant Pepper up there, look. At seven Pe- yeah, seconds Pepper ahead. So, so are we gonna get, are we gonna catch him or not? What one minute? And then you see that one minute thirty by that sea rider. He's not moving though, and he's ten k behind. But oh, I I can't. <laughs> I'm I'm looking at the number. I'm looking at the negative split and realizing that that guy's in front of me. What do I do? Why should that matter though? Just go hard. Less than a mile left. I know. I just, I just need to know whether we're sprinting for positions or first place. Yeah, it's, it's it important in these things. A bit like doing a race around the, the volcano counterclockwise, you've got to look for the distance as much as anything. Exactly. So Kelly's still up the road on his own. Look. Yeah, Matt. Matt is. But he's only four seconds in front. It's getting tense, isn't it? It's getting tight. Mm. Are we going to catch him? Are we not? Who knows? We're reeling in those uh, C riders and D riders. Though. Look at that. Dare to dream. This must be demoralising if you're a D rider and you've spent 40k out front. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's 700 metres to go. There's, there's a good, nice good groupie though there. there. That, mm. That's going to be shifting. Solid, though, isn't it? Yeah. That was, that was my thought. Look, Car rate's up a bit. Right hander there. I can't see it because my face is in the way, but um, it, just just remember that. Just keep that noted in your head when we get to the sprint because... The right-hander, sorry. Or your heart rate. Oh, he's gone. No, he's gone no, early. Right. He's gone early. He's gone big. Arrows everywhere. Here we go. And I've got a draft. Oh, you've I've drafted draft. it. Yeah, it's gone. Get in that one. In that one. No, With the that I, had to sit, I wanted to sit and wait. What are you doing draft, sitting here? I'm, I'm pushing as hard as I can. Look at me. Now Look you are. Oh my god. I didn't goodness. have anything left. Didn't have, didn't anything, have anything left. left. You hadn't done anything all race. But that's what I'm saying. It took it so, it took it out of me so much. Fourth overall. Oh did you? Yeah. Could have been third. third. In the bees. If you'd actually bothered like doing the finish properly. But if I had an arrow it would have been. Yeah, yeah, true. That was that was the biggest issue, the fact that I didn't have an arrow and everyone else yeah, did. Yeah, we don't want excuses though, Chris, really. And it's not an excuse, I'm just saying that that is a reason. Oh, well, that's it then. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed Tim's um, dissection of my hare and hound race. It's safe to say I won't be doing any more any time soon. Tim, I think I might, having watched that. I, I remember how good um, they were. Oh, all right, I'll take that back. Should Maybe we do I one together? And, uh, yeah, all right, I'm up for that. You in the bees, in the see if I can catch world. you. Yeah, and I'll do a Discord chat with you. No, because that's not fair. Why not? Well, I'm just three minutes up on you. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're not getting back. This blob is massive. Yeah, how's how's your blob going? Well, it's going all right. How's yours going? Well, it sucks. So maybe we should do a multi-stream at some point, Chris. A multi-stream. 